I was thinking earlier about a really big move that I had in 2010. Had to pack up my entire house, basically everything that we owned to move. And when you're living in something or somewhere, you don't realize how much stuff you have, right? You really don't realize what you own. And it's not until you are required to move to a new place that you have to take stock of what you have. And then you also have to take stock of what you want to take with you. There is an evaluation that has to happen in order for you to make that move. And for some people, what they do is they don't want to deal with the evaluation of going through all that stuff. So they get as many boxes as they can and they pack up all their stuff and they just move to the next place. And I'm talking practically here, like this is what they actually do. They don't go through anything. They don't go through their clothes. They don't go through their kitchen drawers, nothing. They just empty everything out and then they move to the next place. And when they get to the next place, they have all this stuff and they're not really sure where to put it. And I think that we do that so much in life. We avoid the evaluation. And I don't know if you remember, there's a video I did a while back where I talked about living with ease. And one of those ease is evaluation. Before there is elevation, which is what we all want, right? We all want to get to the next level. We all want to glow up, but there's a process that gets you to that point. It doesn't happen overnight. And I don't care who you're looking at. And it looks like they're an overnight success. And it looks like they did all these things and it was so easy and it was so simple for them. There is a process. There is a process that happens in private. That's the, the unsexy part. That's the part that we don't talk about. But that's the part where you need to partner with the best version of you and people who are interested in you becoming the best version of you, right? So you sit and you have that, that, sorry, my... <laughs> my thought just went you sit and you have that evaluation then you can get to a point of evolution and then you get to the elevation that you're looking for so that was a side note so back to the boxes you imagine that you just moved into this new place and you didn't do that process of evaluation right you never did that you just dumped everything in boxes and you moved what happens when you get to your next level? What happens when you get to that new house, right? Whatever that new house looks like. It could be a relationship. It could be a certain experience. It could be a career change. It could be something good, right? And it usually is something good. What happens when you've packed all your stuff in the boxes and you haven't done that evaluation? When you get to that new place, the excitement of being in that new place is now diminished by your discomfort because you didn't prepare and you didn't pack properly. So now when, you, when you're in the new place and you, you're in the kitchen and you want to make a meal, you don't know where the pots are. You don't know where the forks are. You don't know where anything is. And there is always awkwardness. There is always awkwardness in the new place. But when you have prepared that awkwardness is such a small portion of time compared to the time where you're going to be spending settled in that place. And there are a lot of you. There are a lot of you that want to have better relationships. There are a lot of you that want to have better lifestyles, better health, right? There are a lot of you that want to have better businesses. There are a lot of you that just want to experience peace and there are opportunities that are going to come and there are opportunities that you are going to say yes to. But every opportunity, know that every opportunity that you say yes to is going to require a version of you who is at least prepared in terms of what 
she was willing to go through and when I say go through it's like physically go through and I'm doing this right now in my office look at this these are notes that I made in my car I made them in a notebook revelations at red lights um all these different things and I just you know jotted them down quickly and I haven't gone through them and some of these are from last year and I still haven't you know fully gone through them there's so much information in here there's wisdom in here there are reminders for me there are revelations for you and there is a place that I'm going to and it's not a it's not a physical place it's a new mindset it's a new mission right and there are new things that I am being called to do and I have to prepare that requires me to go through my office physically that requires me to go through my mind mentally it requires me to search my heart it requires me to look at my motives it requires me to set a new vision every new place that you are going to no matter what it is no matter what it is in life even if you're deciding to join the gym and and you're going to lose weight you're deciding to save money you're deciding to give that guy a chance who's been trying to talk to you for the last two months and you keep brushing him off. Every single decision that you make in terms of changing your life and reincorporating or incorporating something new into your life is going to require you to do some type of evaluation. And you can move into new things without doing the evaluation, but what happens then? You end up in the new relationship, the new job, the new house, right? The new business, the new place. And you feel like an imposter. You feel incapable. You feel uncomfortable because you haven't prepared and you haven't packed. So when I talk about vision and I talk about having a visionary mindset and I talk about the woman who you need to be, it's going to require you to no longer be the woman you've always been. The hardest woman to walk away from is the version of you who does not serve your future. And that is a question every woman needs to ask herself. Who am I being today? And does this version of me serve my future? Does this version of me serve the vision that I have for my life? And do I even know what that vision is? Do I have any idea what I really want? Have you ever had somebody ask you, what do you want? And you can't really answer the question. And I've been there. I felt uncomfortable. I knew what I didn't want. I knew what felt bad. I knew what was depressing. I knew what was draining my energy. I knew what sucked in my life. But I did not know what I wanted. And there is no way that you can step into the life that you want to have. I don't care what level it's on. I don't care what aspect of your life. I don't care what it is. There is no way that you're going to know what it is that is true to yourself, that is true to your soul without that evaluation. And that evaluation also requires you to show up differently to yourself. It requires you to start asking yourself deeper questions because that elevation that you're looking for, that glow up that you're looking for, that great life that you're looking for, I'm sorry to break it to you, but the person that you are now, she can't handle it. She's not going to know what to do with the love that you tell yourself that you want. She's not going to know what to do with the, the, the finances that you tell yourself that you really want to be able to have in your account. She's not going to be able to, to manage the friendships, to steward the friendships. She's not going to be able spiritually to deal with the level of revelation that you're craving you have to grow into that. And in some cases, 
There are things in your life that you will have to earn. Not everything. God is good and God is gracious and he will bless us with certain things. But he also blesses us by equipping us. And that takes preparation. It takes preparation. It takes planning. It takes packing. And it takes unpacking. So before you even get to the point where you want to go to, there is an unpacking that needs to happen. You don't unpack when you get to your destination. You unpack the stuff that's in the place where you are that you haven't looked at for years because you stuffed it in a box and you brought it from the old place. And this is what we do in life. We dump stuff in a box and we take it to the new place and we don't look at it. And then we accumulate more stuff and we don't evaluate that stuff. So we dump that in a box again and then we move on to the new place. And then we wonder why we feel so bogged down, why we feel so heavy, why we can't enjoy the blessings when good things happen. It feels like a burden. It feels like a burden because you have too much stuff. And there are so many women walking around with stuff, walking around, not with baggage, right? Because baggage is something that people can see. As much as you try to hide it, people can see your baggage, but they don't see the boxes. They don't see the boxes. Because the boxes are under the bed. The boxes are in closets. When you step out of your house, they see you looking good. They see your handbag. They see your outfit. They see your makeup. And you look good, but they don't see the boxes. And you don't realize that despite what you portray to the world, you are actually carrying within you what's in those boxes. And it's not until you unpack and really start to evaluate where you are in your life that you're going to be able to take the right things to the next level, to the next place. This is a thought that came to me early this morning as I was driving and I was thinking about our moving process. Um, that was a big move and I cannot explain to you but I am a very spiritually led person and I know that there are many of you who are also and before the move happens and it may not be a physical move it may be a spiritual move it may be a relationship move maybe a career move before it happens, you feel it. Have you ever been let go from a job and somehow you felt it coming? Have you ever been let go from a relationship and somehow you felt it coming? Or you wanted to leave. It, it doesn't happen just like that. Or even if you want to move physically, you want to leave a certain neighborhood, you want to leave a certain country, you know, you want to leave a certain environment. You want to leave a certain friend group. It doesn't happen all at once. It happens over time. And there are some situations where you just have to get out. You have to just leave that job. You have to just leave that relationship. You have to just leave those friends alone. Because it's just not good for you. But most of the time. That's not necessary. Most of the time, you have the time to unpack and to decide what you want to take with you to the next season, the next job, the next relationship, the next home. You get to decide. And I want to I wanna really ask you not to be lazy with that process. Do it thoroughly. 
the future version of you in the place that you are going to, she is going to be so happy that you took the time and that you honored her by giving her the best possible start in that new place. If you need help getting started, there is a link in the description. It is a complimentary visionary life sheet. It's going to help you to look at 12 areas of your life and it's going to get you started so you can at least see what your level of satisfaction is in certain areas, what you need to focus on and how you can move ahead. I hope this helps. Blessings on your journey. I'll talk to you soon.